Hello. It says we are live. Welcome everybody. This is the weekly sketching, painting, something session. For the past few weeks I've been doing these live drawings. Um, this is the seventh week, I think. And it's all about this. I don't want to hear me. There we go. Uh, yeah, so welcome everybody. We're going to do some life drawing. No, some still life. I always get that mixed up. Some still life drawing, which is uh, drawing everyday objects in front of me. Uh, life drawing is, is very different. And uh, I keep getting those mixed up. But rest assured, this is still life so i'm going to move this out of the way arrange stuff and make sure that i can see everybody's comments so i can see everybody's comments so don't forget you can ask me stuff in the comments section and i will be able to answer it so let's carry on i guess um, I've updated the image uh, for what you can see on your screen. For the past few weeks, I've had the same image from week one. And I realized after the end of last week that the lighting has changed quite a lot. Uh, so I've updated that image and it should reflect vaguely more or less what I can see today. Because this is the image that I took just now. Uh, so what I want to work on today is... Uh, let's, let's think about this. I think I was in painting. I think I was using wet acrylic before. So I want a little bit more separation on this line. So, uh, wherever this, this line is here, I want to work on that separation. Apart from that, I think we're getting in a, into a good space. Um, obviously from week one, we worked from having the, uh, the really rough sketch. And then week two, we refine that. And uh, yeah, ever since then, we've been adding to the painting. So let's carry on, I think. What I also want to help with is how flat the uh, this AirPods case is here. So the way that this is drawn is this is uh, where the flat piece is. What layer am I on, actually? Okay, let's do all of this on a new layer, just so we don't start messing stuff up. My notes layer is up at the top there, layer six. Okay, so the way that I've drawn this AirPods Pro case is that um, that seems to be the shape of it. Whereas what needs to happen is it needs to, the flat section needs to be higher so that it looks fatter, if that makes sense. So we're gonna work on that today as well. Uh, the AirPods case is what I used last, that's what I finished the stream on last week, uh, was was getting this AirPods case done. So that was the last thing we did. And it's good to actually take a, take a week to uh, go and do other things and then come back and realize, you know, look at it with fresh eyes and, and see that actually, you know what, I can, I can fix some of those things. So uh, maybe I'm going to tackle that now coming down to the layer we want and just starting to push and pull some of the values I want to go a little bit darker on some of these actually maybe I can cheat I'm not sure, but let's have a go. If I select it and freeform, oops. Mm, no, that's probably not any good, is it? Is it? Uh, 
That's going to help, I think. And then we can just sketch back in what we what we want down here. I think that's going to work. Work smarter, not harder. That's the issue. That's the trick. Questions coming in. Hello, Eric. Uh, did you do digital drawing and rendering at uni? Uh, I started, it wasn't taught as part of the course, but that's when I started to learn. And uh, the whole reason why I set up my Instagram page was because I thought I wasn't going to get a job because uh, I couldn't sketch. And I didn't show any sketches in the interview. And the, and the boss who uh, led the interview was like, where's, where's all your sketching work? Like, you know, wh why haven't you shown any sketching? And I left that interview thinking, oh, man, uh, that's not a great sign. So I started my Instagram page to learn how to render, how to sketch. And I, I just started doing it on the iPad because uh, I enjoyed using the iPad. But uh, yeah, that's, I just sort of carried on. Eventually, because so I was posting to Instagram, like asking for help from people like, hey, here's my here's my sketch. How do you think I can improve it? And then asking people like, you know, for for feedback and uh, constructive feedback and stuff like that. And uh, eventually people in the comments were saying like, oh, hey, how did you do this? And it, f and it almost flipped so that um, I realized I could help other people sketch as well. And that's why I decided to take up YouTube and try and teach. So like I, I started all this to like learn. And then along the way, I realized that while I'm learning, I can teach others as well, which is uh, which has been quite good, I think. This is all slightly too yellow. I'm going to add in some warmth and making it less yellow, more orange. I think that's going to help. Okay, and we've got this this highlight here that I just colored over. That's being bounced off this face from a light source that I've got set up. Um More questions. Hi from Kathmandu. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Really cool on how you make things look realistic and uh, and so easy. Oh, I wish it was easy. I really do. I struggle a lot with everything. Uh, and a lot of the times I make tutorials on things that I've only learned that day. So it's not ingrained in my head yet. It's not like I haven't learnt it fully. And there are some times when I uh, I haven't done that specific thing in a few weeks and I need to figure out how to do it again. So I have to go back and watch my own tutorial from the time that I knew how to do it for that specific day. So um, that's also why I make tutorials so I learn them as well, so I can learn them myself. Okay, I think that looks a little bit fatter. We were missing some fatness in, in this AirPods case before. I'm just gonna shade in some stuff down there. There's an ice cream van outside. I haven't heard one in one of those in. Oops, I forgot. I'm not on different layers. Normally, when I'm working on like product sketches, I'll I'll try and do everything on a different layer. Um. But for this painting in particular, I want to keep it all on one layer. Try and keep it similar to real life. How's that looking? I'm, I think I'm going to try and work towards um, not having any pencil lines in this at all and have it as a full painting 
I think once I get a lot more uh, of the block colors in, I'll be able to um, to get rid of all the pencil lines and then clean up like I'll be cleaning up that section like oops way too big like here I'll be cleaning up and making sure that's a nice line but that'll come later on I think I'm not sure what the what the main what the the rule of thumb is for order of process in paintings should I focus on one little bit and make that all nice and neat and then work on the next nice and neat bit <laughs> or should I do the whole like do really large brush strokes and then uh, sort out the neatness later on but I'll figure that out as I go along um, yeah you can even see in my original uh, sketch there that it was already quite high up but it's just uh, I didn't paint it right last week so I've raised that up a little bit I think that helps Again, painting white objects is very tricky, and uh, I still don't think I've got it 100% yet, but, oops, that's the layer we want. Let's warm that up a little bit instead of having it so uh, yellow. I don't know why I was painting with a yellow tone last week. Maybe that's a bit dark. Okay, that's probably, yeah, I think so. Getting there. Let's have a look at more questions. Sam, hey Sam, how you doing? Uh, Jess, hello, thank you for tuning in. Any tips for someone wanting to do industrial product design at uni? Yeah. Um, I wanted to do industrial design at uni and uh, there's a lot of information out there for what the individual courses are going to be about. Each university industrial design course is going to be very different to the next. They all have different philosophies. They all have different ways of teaching. They all have different modules and different environments for learning, you know. So um, find one that you think is gonna suit you. I would, I would have normally suggested to um, try and use one of their open days and uh, go and visit the university that you're thinking about and uh, try it out, see what the campus is like, do you enjoy the campus, stuff like that. Obviously, that's not possible at the moment, but I think universities are using uh, like online open days and stuff like that. So if you can, sign up to the online open days and uh, yeah, do as much research as you can, really, because they're all different. They all teach in different ways. Um, yeah, good luck. Just find the modules that you think will work for you. I'm going to make some of this darker down here. I don't think I've also sketched the AirPod quite properly either. So I'm going to fix some of that today. Maybe that's today's goal. Get the AirPod done. I don't think it's really that bright at all. Uh, let's 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 see. So uh, there's like I don't know how much it's showing up in the in the image that you can see, but there's like a really bright reflection on the floor that um, I will be trying to replicate, but I think I've done it way too bright. Let's knock that back a little bit. There we go, that's knocked back. And, um, Tidy up some of the stuff that's in there.
Okay, that's probably a bit more like it, I think. It's a bit green, isn't it? Let's warm it up just with some orange instead of green. I've never really been good with color theory or color, like spotting what is the underlying color, like trying to get white balance in photos, different photos taken at different locations. I, th I find quite tricky. Sam's got a question. In terms of your style, or at least how you convey your designs, do you have any objectives in what you want your style to be in the future? That's a good question. Um, I think that could be in two parts. Um, on the one side, I have like art work and like pieces like this maybe, or um, like how I sketch and how I draw. But then on the other hand as well, I have products that are like in the market and products that people use and, and are released into the public. And uh, maybe they're slightly different. I have different takes on them. So, for example, with like with pieces like this and with 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 art that I do on my Instagram page, they're a little bit more carefree. They're you know they're just fun, just fun to draw stuff. Not necessarily industrial design. I just want to have fun with these pieces. Whereas with the industrial design, like the actual products that I that I make, um, I, I've I've only really made two things. One is the light for Gantry, my first light for Gantry, called Weight, and that's all about playing with the idea that you know can light seem heavy. The idea of of that design is that it's it's the light section has squashed the base. So that's quite a fun little just interactive, or I think it's fun and interactive, like it's quite playful. So it's playful, but it's also quite a minimal and contemporary design as well. And that is what I think I'd really like to, to carry on doing is uh, contemporary, but a little bit light-hearted, a little bit fun. Uh, yeah, I think that that would be my goal in the future. The, uh, the other thing that I have designed are these. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I don't know if, uh, if anyone's been paying attention to my past videos. But um, I've designed these glasses with Bantam Frameworks. This is the first time they've appeared in a video uh, because they were delivered this week. So what do you folks think? I'll wait until all the, uh, you know, you, sh you should flatter me. <laughs> I'll wait until all the compliments come in. I can read them in the comments. So again, with these glasses, I wanted them to look really quite friendly but I wanted them to look clean and minimal as well. So that's the type of thing that I was going for. I'm spending ages coloring in this background. I don't know why I'm spending so long doing this. I got caught up answering that question. Thanks Sam for that question. Yeah, my design style, I think, is different to my art style. But I think both I want to be a bit fun and lighthearted. There's the table. I didn't think I'd draw this table in, but um, maybe it curves too much. Clean that curve up a bit.
Are there compliments coming in yet for my glasses? No. That's okay. Um, this similar color is going to appear over here, I think. The bounce light of underneath the airports. And I think what's happened is that this section over here is just too dark. It's just way too dark for what we want. Let's brighten that up a little bit. How much do we brighten it up? Probably like that. Maybe it gets quite dark in behind the um, behind the coffee maker. Okay, I think the floor is looking a little bit better now as well. It's more of a line like that, maybe. I forgot to talk. I haven't been talking for a little bit. Uh, what can I talk about? Any more questions? Uh, I'm an ID student now in uni, and you're one of my inspirations for taking it up. Oh, thank you so much. Um, that really means a lot. It really means a lot that I can help people. So, yeah, good luck. Thank you. Hello, Resham from India. Thank you for tuning in. I'm currently a student in the product design. It would be great if you can have another Autodesk. Oh yeah, the uh, the Sketchbook Pro uh, for iPad video. Um, that's one of my most popular videos that I've ever posted. And it was a really early video when I made that tutorial. I have an Autodesk Sketchbook tutorial. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't use the app much anymore. Well. I don't use the app anymore. And I still get comments on that on that video saying, "Hey, how do you do this specific thing or, you know, how does this how does this thing happen?" And honestly, it's been so long since I've uh since I've used the app. I just don't know anymore. Which um which is a shame. Uh cuz it means that I can't help people. I use Procreate now full time. Um, and that's nothing against Sketchbook, nothing against them at all, at uh, Autodesk. I just prefer how uh, Procreate works a little bit. It's just personal preference. And um, maybe I'll, I'll check out the app for everybody's sake of like being able to give out a little bit more advice here and then. Um, Maybe a tutorial, maybe a video on like, I stopped using Sketchbook, now I'm like, this is my first time using it again. Would anybody be interested in that? Because I get questions about that Sketchbook video a lot. Uh, and I'm talking, it's the most popular video by like tenfold. Uh, like a quarter of a million views, I think. Um, it just keeps going up and up and up. And it's one of my first ever videos, and I, you know, the sound was awful, the video was awful. Um, but yeah, I guess people have found it useful, which I'm happy about. It's just I can't carry on giving out advice in that app. And I'm even losing track of all the features in Procreate at the moment. I haven't tried any of the, um, the, the uh, animation stuff that Procreate has brought in. I haven't kept up to date with any of that. Hey, Anna from across the pond. Thank you for tuning in. 
good to have everybody in the in the comments. Everybody's all from different places. That's really nice. Oh, thank you very much. I think it's coming out okay as well. It's getting there, I think. <laughs> Slowly. Maybe another five or so weeks and we'll get there. Glasses are looking great. Yay, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> if anybody else wants to compliment me on my new glasses in the comments, I'm reading them. The video on how these glasses got made are being posted. The video is being posted this week. I've just finished editing that video today. Oh, I can't really see the glasses. I'm too small. Okay, let's fix that. I know this is a, a video about sketching. But I want to show you all my cool glasses. The ones that I designed. There we go. Ta-da! There they are. So yeah, any compliments about me and my glasses are welcome. <laughs> I'll wait. Move that back down again. Uh, so yeah, the, the uh, Banton Framework sent me over their video of them manufacturing these glasses. And uh, they've really outdone themselves with the quality of the shots that they got of the of the glasses being made. Um, I wish I had those skills to be able to do videos like that. Like they sent me when they when they said about um, filming the manufacturing. When I when I mentioned that to them first off, when we were first started chatting about the project. Uh, Jamie, the, the co-founder, was like, oh, man, I'm going to need to dust off my camera, you know, like not set up. He's not set up for making videos. But, uh, yeah, they've really hit it out of the park. What's the expression? Knocked it out of the park. That's what they've done. So, uh, yep, that video has been edited. I've sent it to, to Jamie to say, hey. This is the video, what do you think? And I'm just waiting on the thumbs up and that'll be going live this week. The, the, the whole series has been one of my favorites to work on. Um, it's been an absolute treat to be able to design my own glasses like that. Where would that table go? More like that. Let's cheat, I think. Let's come up here. We'll get my sketching brush. Black. Would it be like that? Oops. Yeah, maybe it'd be more like that. I'm just trying to see, like, every time I move my head, it uh, it moves the table. So let's let's do that. I think that's going to be where the table where the table is. Oops. Come back to painting with acrylic. And maybe, I don't want to draw in all the books and everything. I've tried to blur out the titles of the books as well, just so, you know, this channel's not free to advertise on, folks. <laughs> if people want to advertise their books on this channel, comes at a price. At least send me the book for free. That's all I ask. Okay. So we were a little bit off here too. Let's do that. There we go.
probably a little bit too bright. It gets darker as it goes back. Let's just smooth that out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Did anyone notice that I was sketching on the uh, the layer with the <laughs> with the line, the pencil line that we just put on? It's okay. What we can do is just um, erase, erase the line. Oops. Yeah. Happens to all of us. I can just go in and uh, hide the line underneath. Something like that. And from the other side, let's hide the line. In the comments, has that ever happened to you? You've been sketching away. Go to change layers and realize that you're on the wrong layer. Every time. And because I made a point of making sure that everything was on the same layer for realism, <laughs> I can't just fix it. I think that's that's close enough. And then we just oop, we just uh, erase that. From there, there we go. Now we can bring this down, merge down, and I just want to erase, just break up that a little bit up there. Okay, there we go. That's why I use the undo button. Yeah, I could have, but I was pretty happy with how it was looking. Although the, the, the colors on my iPad screen are very different to the colors that I can see on the playback on, on, the, on the laptop. On the iPad screen, this section and this section are almost the same color. Whereas on the iPad, that's like very gray here, and that's very blue. So... Um, I'm just gonna try and feather that in a little bit more. Try and give it some more color. And now I'm like painting on the iPad and, and looking at the, the screen up at the top there. How's that? Yeah, no? Hmm. Sometimes when the iPad gets warm as well, it um, the screen gets really quite dim, I guess because it's trying to cool itself down. And I think it's done that at the moment where the iPad has is, is just decided to go dim to, uh, to cool itself down and, and I can't see any of the differences anymore in colors. So, Let's bring the opacity down and just have a big wash of, of color over the whole thing. And that will hopefully unify everything together a little bit more. Yeah, I guess so. Down here as well, it looks like it's got a little bit of a halo going on. Let's just clean up that halo.
I think I'm almost ready to turn off some of the uh, pencil lines on some of the items. But I'll wait until I can turn them off on all of them. Because so, I'll just be going around and just cleaning up lines like that. Maybe I don't even cover that in the live stream because that is that interesting for people if I... Is it satisfying if I'm going along and just cleaning up the tiny little pieces like this? Or like, so do people want to watch that? Or is that boring and it's going to take ages to fix it all? So I don't do it in a live stream. That's a question for, for you folks. I think I missed out on some questions though. Uh, let me Let me think. Glasses are too small. Oh, yeah. Huh. If you were to choose one, a product to specialize designing, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough question. And I don't know the answer to that. Because, like, it's that's part of the reason why I decided to become a design, you know, working in a design agency, working in a design consultancy, means that I, I design bits of lots of products. Maybe I don't take it through to final 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 form but i get it somewhere near close and then and then give that you know give that idea to the client and uh, that means that i can design lots of things at any one time if i was to design one item oh it's hard i quite enjoy electronics stuff I quite enjoy, I mean, the glasses was fun and, and this was a huge learning experience. I'd know straight away what I would do differently next time. Uh, so that might be quite good to, to iterate on that. Um, so yeah, I don't know is the answer. I'll throw that question back to you and everybody in the comments. What would you like to uh, design full time? Uh, am I using custom brushes or the ones that come in Procreate? I'm actually using um, the one from Procreate, the wet acrylic brush. I have a few um, custom packs from... Um, I can't remember who this is by. Oh, from Max Pack. I have some stuff. And I have uh, Spencer's at, at Sketch a Day. I have uh, his marker set. But for this uh, session, yeah, wet acrylic paint. Um, and I think I just started using that in one of the live streams just to figure out, hey, I wonder what this is like and just carried on using it. So, um, yep, yeah, the standard Procreate one. Uh, it looks good. The golden sides look nice. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to enjoy how it's turning out. Uh, I like the uh, reflection detail going on here. I think with a little bit more refinement, that's going to come out quite nice. The AirPods are coming along okay. Maybe, what time is it? 20 minutes left. Maybe for the next 20 minutes, we focus on the top of the, uh, the coffee maker. Or for the next 20 minutes, we can block in the watch up to you vote now in the comments while i um while i catch up on some questions back for that design life we're all living the design life undo button oh yeah when i messed up uh happens a lot in a way for good but then forget the next thing you know half the picture is on the wrong layer yeah all the time wrong layer it'd be quite nice if maybe up in like where the blue is that i've just uh, pressed maybe there's a little icon that says what layer you're on you know like does it say one like layer one layer two i don't know don't remember the airpods and the watch being there they've always been there Go back and watch. Uh, go back and watch the other streams. Uh, after this stream, stick around. Stick around for now. 
Uh, I think it's doing it in the live stream will give people a better idea of the process. Oh yeah, so about cleaning up the lines and stuff. I mean, I can try and do it as I'm going through. Uh, so I don't have to do it all at the end and just do the little fiddly bits. Um, so yeah, I'll try and try and do that. I'm also thinking that I'm quite enjoying how this uh, piece has turned out. But it's almost a shame that I've only... I only started sketching this at iPad resolution, which is not large enough to print off even at A3. Um, you can do it with a little bit of, of Photoshop magic, but um, I almost wish that I'd taken out a bigger canvas when, uh, when I was sketching. In fact, you know what? I might do that now. Canvas, crop and resize. Let's go for 4,000 pixel oh i didn't want to do that uh reset okay now it's locked let's try 4000 pixels wide and we want to resample i think is that how to scale done and then now we take the whole thing, put that in the group. Oops. And make it larger. Let's do that with magnetics so that we know. And then I think bilinear is a good one. I don't know. I think bilinear. So when you scale things up, um, obviously the pixels get bigger and you want to fill in the pixels in between the pixels when you, when you scale things up, otherwise it just becomes a pixelated large image, right? So you can change if it's, if it does maths to fill in the, the pixels on the inside, or does it just keep everything the way it is? And I think bilinear is, is a good one for re sampling it. I think. So let's do that. But now that I'm going to continue painting over the top of this, oops, now that I'm going to continue painting over the top, we're going to get all that detail back in later on as well. So I'm not too fast at the moment that uh, we've just lost a lot of detail. Uh, I think everybody's been uh, voting for the watch. Okay, let's let's do the watch. So we're on the right layer. Uh, I'll start this as a reference color, but it's slightly oranger. More orange. Uh, let's start painting. I still think that's quite yellow. So let's just warm that up. Maybe a bit too bright. Yeah, more like that, I think. There we go. I think it's that, that sort of color. So we've got that like that. Uh, there's a little section of that color in there. And yeah, there will be a slight section of it up there as well because there's a, there's a double wall thickness, but we can do that later on maybe. Uh, for now, I'm gonna need a dark color like this and I'm gonna make it less blue slightly and I'll use that to color in the outside of the strap I think it's thin up there 
It might be a bit dark actually. Although we can brighten up we can brighten up a lot of it later on. Oops. There we go. In fact, let's let's think about brightening it a little bit. And the thing that I don't understand about a lot of color theory is, uh, let's say, for example, um, the watch is a black color, but it has a slight blue hue to it. But then it's being hit with a, a warm light. So the blue and the yellow of the warm light, they cancel each other out. So then what color does it become? I don't know. Maybe I should uh, figure out some of the theory in between this week and next week. Because we're going to get this blocked out today, but definitely not anywhere near the fidelity that we need. That's going to be all dark in here, isn't it? Thinking about it, looking at it. darkest actually over on this side let's find a dark color Clean up that edge so we don't have to come in so much later on. And then potentially work on some shading. Make it a bit red. darker over here oops a bit big okay so I'm just blocking in some color at the moment. I forgot to talk for a little bit again. Thank you all for sticking with me while I forget to talk. Sometimes I just need to focus on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna wrap this up in, in about 10 minutes or so. In the meantime, I can answer any questions anybody's got. I can give any advice anybody is interested in. I don't know everything about design, but I know more than I did yesterday. And if I, anybody has any questions about what I've done up until now, I can always answer those things. 
and tomorrow I will know more than today. That's the goal. Yeah, I think that's coming along quite nice. I think there'll be it'll be darker back here. And there's like it's actually the shadow skips some of the underside under there because it's off the floor. Give that a, a wash of, of darker color, actually. The whole inside of there, I think, needs it. And maybe there as well. Okay, I think that's starting to set in. There's a bit of a reflection going on down there. Something like that. Reference the dark section of this for the inside of there. That's going to be quite dark. Okay. Top tips for starting a career in industrial design. Uh, keep practicing. Learn as much as you can. Understand there's, al there's always more that you can learn. Have a range of skills, but focus on one particular skill. That's, a, that's always a good one. They call that the T-shaped or the V-shaped designer where the top of the T is the, all of the skills that you know and can do relatively well. And the, the, the stem of the T is the, the one skill that you can do really well. And what, that's your unique point as a designer. So, uh, yeah, just focus on what you enjoy doing and carry on doing that. Maybe you can find your niche as a, as a designer and what, what niche skills will you have. Uh, okay, I think that's going to be everything. Unless there are any more questions from, from people. I think there's about 10 people watching. Thank you to you 10. When we first started doing these streams, I think there was about 40 people at a time. And uh, I guess people have have stuff to do, so that's okay. Uh, but it really means a lot that you tune in. Uh, so thank you so much for that. I'm having a great time doing these, and I think I'm going to have something that I'm really quite happy with at the end of this. And uh, it's been really nice that I can share this process with you as well. So uh, if there's any more questions, that's going to be... I can answer those questions now. If not, then I'm going to wrap it up and uh, it's going to be same time again next week. Maybe I'll focus on the AirPod next week. Um, again, I don't think I've sketched it quite right. Um, but yeah, we can, always, we can always fix that later on. Okay, well, if there are no more questions, as always, thank you so much for watching this stream. It's been an absolute blast. Um, don't forget that the best way you can help me out is to share these videos with a friend or to share any of the tutorials that I make with a friend. 
and hopefully they share that with a friend as well. So uh, I appreciate it all very much. I can't do this without you. Um, I'll be back next week, 6 p.m. UK time, Sunday, just before dinner. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good week and I'll see you all soon. Thank you for tuning in.